She's the queen bee. The star. Those other two are just her little workers. Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Japan. Her favorite movie is Varsity Blues. One time she met John Stamos on a plane. And he told her she was pretty. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Obviously, Regina's got it all. She is the leader of the Mean Girl clique and makes everyone feel inferior. Regina comes from a very wealthy family, doesn't work, and has everything handed to her. What most people don't realize is the abnormal relationship Regina has with her parents. Her mom would rather hang out with Regina and her friends than be a parent figure. Regina's parents gave up the master bedroom just because Regina demanded it. Regina is very preoccupied with her looks. She constantly talks about how she's fat or not pretty enough, and she often seeks confirmation about her body and looks through her friends and other people. Her obsession with her appearance is probably one of her biggest weaknesses, as she spends much of her time seeking new ways of losing weight. The abnormal behavior and personality traits that Regina displays characterize histrionic personality disorder. Didn't anybody tell you? You were supposed to wear a costume. <sighs> Shut up. I need to talk to you. You know that girl, Katie? Yeah, she's cool. I invited her tonight. Well, be careful because she has a huge crush on you. Really? How do you know? Because she told me. She tells everybody. It's kind of cute, actually. She's like a little girl. She, like, writes all over her notebook, Mrs. Aaron Samuels. And she made this t-shirt that says, I heart Aaron, and she wears it under all her clothes. Oh, come on. Well, who can blame her? I mean, you're gorgeous. And okay, look, I'm not saying she's a stalker, but she saved this Kleenex you used, and she said she's going to do some kind of African voodoo with it to make you like her. What? This was it. Regina said she would talk to Aaron for me, and now she was. I know she's kind of socially retarded and weird, but she's my friend, so just promise me you won't make fun of her. Of course I'm not going to make fun of her. How could Janice hate Regina? She was such a good... <gasps> Histrionic personality disorder is a condition in which people act in a very emotional and dramatic way that draws attention to themselves. Someone with this disorder wants to be the center of attention in any group of people, and they feel uncomfortable when they're not. While people with this disorder are often lively and interesting, they have difficulty accepting when people aren't focused exclusively on them. They may be perceived as being shallow and often engage in sexually seductive behavior to get attention. Wait, sit down. Seriously, sit down. Why don't I know you? I'm new. I just moved here from Africa. What? I used to be homeschooled. Wait, what? My mom taught me at home. No, no, I know what homeschool is. I'm not retarded. So you've actually never been to a real school before? That's really interesting. Thanks. But you're like really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. Where did you get it? Oh, my mom made it for me. It's adorable. Oh, it's so fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang. From England. Okay, you should just know that we don't do this a lot, so this is like a really huge deal. We want to invite you to have lunch with us every day for the rest of the week. Oh, it's okay. Coolness. So we'll see you tomorrow. A person with histrionic personality disorder has culturally abnormal behavior in the certain areas. These areas include cognition, or the way they perceive things, affectivity, which is the range and intensity of emotional responses, interpersonal functioning, and impulse control. In the previous clip, Regina displays abnormal behavior in interpersonal functioning. She doesn't know how to handle someone else receiving more attention than her. Regina will do anything in her power to become best friends with the person receiving all the attention. In this next clip, Regina sabotages her friends. 
This displays interpersonal functioning as well as affectivity because she doesn't have any remorse for turning her friends against each other. Busted. Just start apologizing and crying. No, play cool. Secret? What are you saying about? Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I mean, I don't care. Do whatever you want. But let me just tell you something about Aaron. All he cares about is school and his mom and his friends. Is that bad? But if you like him, whatever. I mean, I could talk to him for you if you want. Really? You would do that? I mean, nothing embarrassing though, right? Oh no, trust me. I know exactly how to play it. But wait, aren't you so mad at Gretchen for telling me? No. Because if you are, you can tell me. It was a really bitchy thing for her to do. Yeah, it was pretty bitchy, but uh, I'm not mad. I mean, I guess she just likes the attention. See, Gretch, I told you she's not mad at you. I can't believe you think I like attention. Okay, love ya. See you tomorrow. In the next clip, Regina displays a variety of very shallow emotions. Knowing that she has emotionally destroyed one of her peers by making up a horrible rumor about her, she's able to shake it off like it never happened. This abnormal behavior also displays issues in affectivity. Uh-oh. Hey, why were you talking to Janice Ian? I don't know. I mean, she's so weird. She just, you know, came up to me and started talking to me about crap. <laughs> she's so pathetic. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. We were best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even... Whatever. So then in eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who was totally gorgeous, but then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was, like, weirdly jealous of him. Like, if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? So then for my birthday party, which was an all-girls pool party, I was like, Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian. I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There could be girls there in their bathing suits. I mean, right? She was a lesbian. So then her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so retarded. And then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. When she came back in the fall for high school, all of her hair was cut off and she was totally weird. And now I guess she's on crack. Oh my god! I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. Where did you get it? So are you going to send any candy canes? No. I don't send them, I just get them. <laughs> so, you better send one, biatch. Love ya. Here is another clip displaying Regina's lack of remorse. Oh, and he's with Taylor Waddell. I heard they're going out. Wait, Jason's not going out with Taylor. No, he cannot blow you off like that. He's such a little skis. Give me your phone. You're not going to call him, right? Do you think I'm an idiot? No. Uh -oh. Waddell on South Boulevard? Call her ID. Not when you connect from information. Hello? Hello. May I please speak to Taylor Waddell? She's not home yet. Who's calling? Oh, this is Susan from Planned Parenthood. I have her test results. If you could have her give me a call as soon as she can. It's urgent. Thank you. She's not going out with anyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was so <laughs> fetch. <laughs> Regina displays sexually seductive behavior in all aspects of her life by the clothes she wears and her verbal and body language. This can be seen in the outfit she chose to perform in the school talent show. Regina also displays abnormal behavior in cognition. Her main focus is on her weight. Regina perceives herself as being fat when she is clearly not. She always wants advice on how to lose weight. In this next clip, Regina gets upset when her dress doesn't seem to fit right. Go the South Beach fat flush, and all you drink is cranberry juice for 72 hours. This isn't even cranberry juice. It's cranberry juice cocktail. It's all sugar. I want to lose three pounds. It won't close. It's a five. Okay, it must be marked wrong. Katie, all I've been eating are these calteen bars. They suck. Ma'am, do you have this in the next size up? Sorry. We only carry sizes 1, 3, and 5. You could try Sears. Oh. The most effective treatment for histrionic personality disorder is cognitive behavior therapy. CBT would help Regina be able to control her emotions better 
as well as give her some tools to cope with life in a more adaptive way. Regina would benefit from CBT in a way that would help her interpersonal relationships to be better able to make and maintain friendships. Many would say that Regina George is a typical high school drama queen. Histrionic personality disorder isn't what most people first think of when watching Regina, but she portrays the characteristics of this disorder very well. Regina often engages in sexually seductive behavior, has trouble maintaining stable relationships, and has inappropriate emotional responses in many situations, as you saw in the clips. The fact that Regina is unhappy and uncomfortable with not being the center of attention is another main symptom she displays of this disorder. The portrayal of Regina George in the movie Mean Girls is an accurate portrayal of a person living with histrionic personality disorder. I'm a 